Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So, as you're fully aware, the UK is currently in a lockdown, meaning we have very limited places to go. We have the choice of the garden, the living room, the kitchen, the bathroom, or your bedroom. And majority of the time, I have chosen my bedroom, meaning for the past two weeks, I have sat within these four walls. And with that comes mess. But I'm not gonna lie, my room actually isn't that bad. It has been a lot worse than this. But then again, it's also been a lot better. I mostly just need to kind of organize things, put things where they need to go, and just do a little once over with a few little dental wipes. So if you guys are interested in this, I mean, I'm not sure if you are gonna be. We'll see and find out when this video goes up if you guys actually want to watch it or not. Fingers crossed you do. But yeah. I'll quickly show you a before of my room. Like I said, it's really not too terrible for me anyway. You guys might think this is messy, but I don't think it's too bad. And then we can get our Mr. Id, do a little bit of cleaning, and then come back at the end and see the improvement, hopefully. So yeah, let's clean. This is what my room is currently looking like. Like I said, it's not really messy in a sense. It's just untidy and to me those are two different things my bed definitely needs making but yeah there's just a few little things like out of place oh hi hi and some extremely dead flowers there but yeah it just needs a good it just doesn't, uh, uh, let's just clean it yeah but the first thing i'm gonna do is make my bed because i feel like when you do this your room automatically looks 10 times cleaner which is always a plus and i don't actually have to change my bed sheet because i literally did it like two days ago and i shouldn't really wait to do it in this video but i mean i didn't know i was gonna film this video so i guess we're already a few steps ahead with that but it's really not gonna take long i mean it's literally just a quilt and two cushions that need organizing so let's do that and then we can actually move on to decluttering all the little crappy bits and bobs I'm not gonna lie though, I actually really prefer my leopard print covers just because it kind of fills my room out a little bit and gives it a bit of colour and fun because when I have these plain like duvet sheets on it just looks a bit bland and boring but I'm not gonna lie these are a lot comfier and snugglier so it's kind of like a love-hate relationship and yeah I also don't know why I've got the PG tips teddy in my hand but I just want to pre-warn you, this is not going to look the prettiest because white bedding doesn't really do much for my room. It just looks a bit blank. But we're going to make the bed nonetheless and then we can crack on with the rest of my room. Also, sorry for flashing in this video. I'll try not to, but these shorts are extremely short, but they're really cute, so I don't really care. I will also link my bedsheets down below if you are interested, along with their cushions and my blanket because I know I'm most likely to get some questions about it. <laughs> also this bed sheet's really annoying sorry i feel like i was complaining this whole video already because it doesn't actually fit properly like there's so much like overhang i don't know if that's just because my actual duvet cover isn't the best quality it's not really thick or whether there's just so much extra material on this i don't really know but yeah kind of annoying looks a bit saggy at parts but it'll do As for my pillows, I actually have two in each pillowcase because my pillows were very thin, so they just looked a little bit sad. Need a little bit of plumping, a little bit of oomph. So yeah, I actually have four pillows. They're just disguised within two pillowcases. Not gonna lie, I also wish I was strong enough to move my bed because it is so close to the wall that whenever I move, the leather squeaks against the wall and it's just like, <laughs> and it's really annoying. But yeah. I'm gonna put my sad looking pillows on my bed now. They have each lost a ball, so they're looking a little bit uh, worse for wear. I do have them, I just don't know how to sew them back on. So for now, I have two fluffy pom poms and two ratchet looking cushions. And that is the bed done. We can now move on to getting rid of all the rubbish emptying the bins, everything that really doesn't need to be in the room, and then actually start to organise. I hope this is interesting, I'm really sorry if it's not, but I thought it'd be a fun little different video. I've never really done anything like this before, so let me know what you think. But we are now going to empty the mess I call my bin. I don't even want to show you this because it's just got like odd manky socks and just not nice stuff. Ta -da! But I've got my little bin, but oh, 
just hit myself in the eye. I've got my little bin bags and I'm basically going to put everything that can't be recycled in this into my green bin and then I can take all my cardboard and things like that, put that in recycling bin and then we will hopefully have a somewhat clean room or at least we'll be one step closer to that. I'm also not going to lie, I never thought the day would come where I'd be filming myself empty in my bedroom bin but this is what it's come to. Also, tip, if you forget to put a bin bag in, like me, and then you just are left with this, just take a little plastic bag and simply put it around the rubbish. So you're basically putting it upside down over the top of your bin. I'm acting like you really care and you can actually see what I'm doing. And then simply tip your bin upside down and everything falls into the bag. So smart, I know, wow. Unless your bin is overflowing and then everything doesn't fit in the bag, which is currently what's happening now. <laughs> oh, so many crisp packets. No oh, fuck. <laughs> I was gonna, duh. I'm gonna take this out to the bin and then it can come back and clean. Yes. Okay, so I'm an idiot because I've just gone out and thrown everything in the bin and then realised I still have a vase of dead flowers in my bedroom that I could have put in the bin also. So now we're going to dispose of those and honestly, one, I'm out of breath and two, I don't think I'm prepared for how disgusting this is. I must have had these flowers for at least three or four weeks. Actually, I've had them since Mother's Day. So when was that? Two weeks ago? Three weeks ago nearly? Jesus Christ. These are the mouldy dead flowers in all their glory. And I'm actually really sad because I don't want to throw this away because this is the first ever... Oh shit, I just broke it. This is the first ever rose Jack bought me and I really don't want to throw it away. But if I show you the bottom of this, it is mouldy. So I'm just not even going to risk it. We're just going to chuck this in the garden bin. If I even have a garden bin. I think I have a garden bin. I don't really know. I will ask my mum. Mum! Mum! Mother! Mum! Do we have a garden bin? What do I do with my dead flowers? Yeah, the, gr the brown one just before you go out the gate. Right, Jesus. Oh. If this doesn't explain to you why Jack never buys me flowers, I don't know what will because he knows that I can't look after them. So he's like, Amy, you literally keep it alive for two days and then it sits in your room longer than you've kept them alive for. So this is the current situation. But, oh my God, it stink. For the purpose of taking these downstairs, I'm going to put them in one of these plastic bags again. But I'm not going to actually keep it in the plastic bag in the bin. It's just so I don't get mouldy hands. Let's just shift over so I can actually dispose of these. Do you want to see this? We'll, we'll, we'll do it so you can see this. Uh, I thought this would be a much better angle, but you still can't see the flowers. So that did nothing. Yeah, I guess I'm going to grasp the nettle with both hands. Quite literally. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, I've got rose petals all over my room. And it doesn't look pretty. It's not the pretty sort of rose petals on your room floor. And it's making the biggest mess in my bedroom. And this honestly makes me want to vom. Let's take a trip to the garden bin. What has my channel turned into? I don't know. But I hope you stay tuned in because it's going to get a hell of a lot worse. Wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now let's go find this alleged green bin. Okay, so now that all the monkey flowers are gone, I can now actually get on to doing the boring stuff, which you guys probably aren't too interested in seeing, which is basically just clearing all the crap off of this and my bedside table, putting it where it needs to be, you know, not too fun. And then I'm just going to be going over it once with the Astonish Antibacterial Surface Cleanser to make sure that it is all germ free so once that is done we can actually move on to the fun stuff which is like organizing my makeup and my skincare and all that which you know i get excited for actually don't because i don't want you to set your expectations too high uh, it's probably gonna be pretty boring but yeah i'm gonna get myself to cleaning <laughs> My brothers, one day we gon' make it. We just gotta grind for that paycheck. Mama told me one day I'll be famous. Remember when she used to say she hated us? Back then they would laugh when I say shit. Now I'm inside all them people's playlists. So one day I'll be stomping on those stages. But right now we just dancing in the basement. Right inside a basement. 
said it's for ounce, do it wavy tweaking bases. Learn this shit ourselves on my own time, I made shifts. Shooting for the moon, gon' turn this Honda to a spaceship. Shorty won't fuck with me. I just wanna get some rain and sleep, shit low free. Yeah. Right, so that is the main bulk of cleaning done, but now on to probably the most time consuming task, which is going to be sorting through these baskets here because originally it was like skincare in one and then like hair care bath stuff in the other but now it's just boxes full of crap basically so they need a good sort through so that is what we are gonna do if you want a time update it's currently half past three so i've not actually been doing this for too long but i need to make some sort of order within all this crap because right now it is just junk and these shelves are very wobbly and about to fall apart you know what i think might be better actually emptying both the boxes and then we can sort what goes into what you know so this is what we have to sort through ladies and gents basically it's all either face masks moisturizers fake hands body washes and just yeah i don't even know at this point okay apologies for literally chucking about nine different camera angles at you in under a minute but i wanted to try and get the best view Space. You know, I want to actually be able to move and wait to be able to see me. So basically what I'm doing is putting all the big chunky stuff in the big basket and all the little tiny stuff in the small basket so that everything fits perfectly. So the two biggest things I own are these Bondi Sands products. If you can hear a wrapper in the background, Minnie's just chilling on the bed eating a milky bar. So say hi, Min. Hi. <laughs> But yeah, basically, as I was saying, these are the two biggest things I own, and it is the Bondi Sands body wash and the Bondi Sands body moisturizer. Now, this, oh my god, can I just tell you, is the nicest like moisturizer I've ever used on my body. If you know the consistency of condensed milk, I know that sounds very weird, but it's literally like that, and it is so creamy on your skin, it is unreal. So these are gonna go in the big basket, and already that literally takes up. Oh, I can't even show you. That literally takes up a good amount of space as it is. So I'm gonna try and get rid of stuff I don't use. But I pretty much use everything that's here, so that's going to be pretty difficult. But I'm going to pop my fake tans in. So I have my... Where is the one I always use? It's here. I have my St. Moritz Medium Tan, which is almost out, which is very sad. I have my Isle of Paradise Dark Glow Clear Self Tanning Mousse, which is what I put on top of that. And then I also have my St. Moritz Medium to Dark Clear Tanning Mousse, which I alternate between so those are my three like cheap fake tans i guess and then i obviously have my loving tans which i use on more special occasions so lately these have not been getting used because i mean i've been sat in my house 24 7 and no one's gonna see me apart from you guys but i mean you guys like my friends anyway so i don't really care if you see me looking like shit and then i have my deluxe gradual tan and my bronzing shimmer so those are gonna go in there too as well as the deluxe face tan basically the whole loving tan collection to be honest and this is getting very crammed as you can see i mean you can't see i think that is pretty much it for the first basket in terms of like bottles and things like that but i'm now just going to try cramming my face masks because when i tell you i have a lot of face masks i don't think you're ready let's just do a quick count you ready one two three four five six seven eight. i mean that's a foot mask but it still counts eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I'm running out of room. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Oh my god. 28. And then my eye patches. 29. Oh, 30. 30 face masks. Yeah. <laughs> these are what I'm going to try fit into this basket now. So let's just hope that these actually squish in. This is going to be a bit of a tight squeeze and I literally do a face mask at least like once a week as well and these just don't seem to go down like I'm not even joking when I say these are going to actually last me all year and we're already running out of space. Right last few ones let's squeeze these in here and this is the first basket complete. Got rid of absolutely nothing but it's now 10 times tidier and actually has some sort of order so we'll put her to the side. And we will now begin to sort through my baby basket. It's going to be too hard because I've not really got too many products here to get in there. So the little bits I have in front of me here are just like fake tan face drops, little witch blemish stick, the blemish gel, freedom gel, some little set of fill, like all those little bits and bobs like that, which are kind of hard to stand up. So it's pretty difficult to get these all 
in here without toppling it over. And I still actually use this Primark Pink Grapefruit from my testing Primark 24 hours video. Honestly, it's like, it's incredible. It's like a gel micellar water that you just put on a cotton pad. It's bloody brill. I love it. I have a L'Oreal Pure Clear Bright Mask, which is literally like yellow. I've not used this yet, but it looks quite fun. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it looks a bit like mustard, but it smells nice. It smells like men's aftershave. Speaking of which, I have two of Jack's stuff here. I have his little Anjaspray thing, as well as his links. These are like, the only two things keep me going that actually smell like him, because I've not seen him in over two weeks now, and I just want to cry. Babe, if you're watching this, I've still got these, and I'm sorry if they're empty by the time I next see you, but they're going to go to good use. And then I don't think there's anything else to go in here. This is the little mini basket complete. So now we have the two sorted little boxes which are actually a lot heavier than they look but i'm quickly just going to find a home for the little few of bits that are left here and then i'll be right back also i love the fact my hair's just got progressively worse as this video has gone on but this is what happens when i clean and i didn't want to wash it before this video because i knew i'd just be like manic all day and it'd just get 10 times worse anyway so that is why my head looks like a hot greasy mess because it needed washing even before this cleaning process started but i'm going to hoover up now with my lovely well i say my lovely it's my mum's shark hoover i don't know why i'm sat here talking to you about hoovers that like you actually care but shark hoovers are honestly the best thing i've used in my life i'm gonna hoover up now do my little mist out fire <sighs> Right, I'm gonna show up. Bye. <laughs> but now, what I'm gonna do is quickly organise my makeup out of here. I'm not like getting rid of anything or anything like that. And then I can finish off, whack a bit of carpet spray, bed spray, and then we'll be pretty much done. <laughs> what you can see but this is actually so fun to spray like it literally it forms up like okay you can't really see but it's like fake snow look at that oh, make my carpet smell good I mean the door area pretty much looks the exact same but now I just have some organisation on my desk, an empty bin, a lovely nice made bed this time, my shoes are organised down there, hello it is me again, all organised up there, this is really nice and decluttered now, I have an empty windowsill, a lovely carpet and a cute little cosy area. But yeah that was it for my clean with me during quarantine, I don't really know what I'm going to title this video yet but I hope you enjoy, do let me know if you do find these videos interesting sometimes i do find myself watching like people clean the house in the kitchen and stuff like that and i don't even have my own house or my own kitchen so i mean if you guys like this i'll try to do more videos in the future oh, and also if you're wondering i did clean under my bed out yesterday if you follow me on instagram you'll have seen that I did like a quick before and after but with that being said i hope you guys did enjoy don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up subscribe down below let me know any videos you want to see from me whilst we are in this lockdown period and yeah i'll see you in my next video Bye. S O S never guess cuz I know mama told me that I'm blessed but he never wanna show get impressed cuz I'm dope you don't smoke what you mean keep it potent as the green so you know